Okay, we have begun the other day, Perik uh, Ezo Neshech, and the Mishnah had mentioned Ezo Neshech. We said Neshech is Tarbis, Neshech is the, is the Lashon used by the, vis a vis the, the, the Leiva who is being bitten because it's like a snake, it starts small and spreads. The Tarbis is speaking about the Malva. Tarbis means Lashon of increase, he gets an increase. We said that there's not, they're both synonymous, there's not one without the other. We did mention that the reason why it's broken up in the Torah is to be chayef at two laven. That's what we mentioned. The Mishnah had mentioned the first case of ribis katsutsa. Ribis katsutsa is the araisa. That means the set loan. That's the classic loan. You go ahead, you borrow money, and, and you're going to pay more than you, you're going to pay more, pay back more than you borrow. That is ribis katsutsa. That is asa the araisa. Right? Whether you have to return it or not is the chloikas, which we'll be seeing tonight. The second case in the Mishnah was much more intricate. And we'll see that separately. But that was a case of seemingly of ribis de Rabbanon, a case of a of a futures contract. For, so for brevity's sake right now, all we have to know, the first case of the Mishnah was a case of ribis de Arisa, and the second case was a case of ribis de Rabbanon. And we'll get into the second case in, uh, we'll get into the second case in more, more by Riches as we go on this evening. Okay, so we're up to uh, Samech Aleph Amid Beis. Samech Aleph Amid Beis, two lines from where it gets wide. Samech Aleph Amid Beis. Again, we're going to explain this tonight on the Amid Beis. In other words, says, why does what's Tarbis? What every case is a case of ribis. Some of Ad Khan Shal Torah. When it says you lend five, four, and you get back five, and you get back five, that's ribis deraisa, ribis katsutsa. The case of the the the. the Futures contract in the Mishnah is Rivis de Rabbanon. The Chena Marava, Ad Khan Shal Toira, Mikan Beilak Shal Devreyan. The first case is Rivis de Raisa, and the latter case is Rivis de Rabbanon. Ad Khan Yachin Rosha, the Yalbish Tzadik. Until now, the Rosha, he goes ahead, he prepares, and then consequently dies and leaves his children Rivis, and the Tzadikim children, they they go ahead and literally wear the, the, the prophets. In other words, uh, the, the ribis de raisa has to, has to be replaced by the by the owner himself. But if he dies, the kids don't have to pay it. So he's the rasha because he made them the money and they get to keep it. Ad kamasula, you mean what? It's if by ribis de raisa they get, they don't have to return it. Certainly ribis de rabbanon. Even until now, yachin rasha v'yabis sadik. Ad kam ribis ketsutza. Again, ketsutza lashon of set. When you set at the time of the loan, you're setting the amount. That's literally dust of ribis. Literally dust of ribis, ribis tarabonim. Am Rabbi Laza. Ribis katsutsa yoytze bedayonim. Ribis katsutsa, dayin could take it out. That's what we just saw, that that, that what? That uh, the dayin could go ahead and take it out. If if a person uh, goes ahead and is over on the issue of ribis deraisa, then the goes goes to court, the dayin can go ahead and, and, and take the money back from the from the malva. Avak ribis ain't a yotzev da yana, but avak ribis will not be yotzev da yana. So ribis da right say yes, avak ribis no, and that's the shita of Rebbe Lazar, and that's the halacha. Of Rebbe Yochanan, however, I'm not feeling ribis katsutsa nami ain't a yotzev da yana. That's what we have to know. That's the Gemara is going to question. So again, machloikis. Loi Rebbe Lazar, ribis katsutsa is what is yotzev da yana. Loi Rebbe Yochanan, ribis katsutsa is not yotzev da yana. Just get, get guys be aware. The loiv is gladly giving the money. It's, you know, as when you think of ribis, you tend to think of of uh, of an Italian mafia shooting or a Russian mafia shooting your, your kneecaps off, right? That's the tendency one thinks, but that's not the case. The case is a person is is, is taking a loan out. He's all too happy to pay the ribis. I mean, happy, but he's willing to do it. If he needs the money, he's willing to do it. You buy a house, you're paying a tremendous amount of ribis, right? You want the house, so you clearly do it. So again, the fact that Yitzchak B'dayanim is pretty much of a chiddush. You know what? You asked for it, like, like, why, why should you get it back? When Enochinami says, Rebbe Laza, it's Yitzhak B'dayonim. And be aware also, the loiva does something wrong by borrowing for ribis. Not only the lender is over, the borrower is over as well. I'm Rebbe Yitzhak, my time to Rebbe Yochanan, that's Yitzhak B'dayonim. It says, by Neshech Nosan, V'tarbis Lokach. Here's a Pesach in Yechesko. Pesach says, V'neshech Nosach, V'neshech, V'neshech he gave, the tarbis lokach and tarbis he took. The choy lo yichyo es kolo to eva seela. It says the choy. So what does it say? The choy lo yichyo es kolo to eva seela asa. The misa nitein. It's given for death. If a person lends the ribis, says the person yecheskel, he will die. 
but he doesn't have to give it back. Knows the punishment is death, but you don't have to give back the ribbis. The dayanim don't take it out. I'm across another pasuk to substantiate Reb Yochanan why in fact that what that ribbis is not taken back by the dayanim. It says atikach. This is and this is from the Torah proper rather than the navi. Atikach meitai neshech v'sarbis v'yerais the melakecha l'moira nitein. It's given that you should fear Hashem, but not to go ahead and be extracted by Dayanim. So one is the Lushan of, we have Rav uh, Yitzchak quoting Yecheskel, we have Adav Arava quoting in Pasha Bahar, and Rav Amar Mikufu de Kra, from the Pasuk in Yecheskel itself. You don't have to go ahead and say, Lamisa Shmila. It says, the end of the Pasuk says, Most you must dumb of boy yeyo, and we say, Hukish Malvi Ribis the Shaykh Bey it says, Mois Yumas Dom of Boy. His blood is in him. We compare a person who goes ahead and lends for ribis to a, to a, a murderer. And once you murder someone, there's no going back. Look at the last Rashi on the page. This is Dom of Boy. We're going ahead and we mark it to a Shofik Dom. Kwaimar. Dumb she shafach the dumb that he that was spilled. She oni she oni You made your friend poor. Who may sparov a love yeshuvu. In other words, that you went ahead and result you lent him for ribis and a result he couldn't pay off the loan and he ended up being so impoverished because you took all his money away from him and he ended up dying of starvation. So therefore, malva ribis it could be compared to a a murderer. My time the Rebbe that says Ribis is not your is Yotzei B'dayanim. What's the reason? The the pasuk again. The pasuk says, "Al tikach meitay neshech v'tarbis." Do not go ahead and take from him usury. V'yareisim melakecha v'chei achicha imach, and your brother should what? Should chei achicha imach? Your brother should live with you. Ahadale, return him the Ribis ki hechi the. The the nich the the nichia b'hadach. Go ahead, return the ribbis that he should live with you. It says v'chayochichich imach. Don't go ahead and take it, right? And if you do take it, give it back in order that he should live. Rabbi Yochanan hai v'chayochichich imach mayavale. Rabbi Yochanan who holds that you don't return the ribbis. So what does he do with the limit of Rabbi Eli Elazar? We boil leather for the tanya. Shnayim shoyim mahalchem b'derek. Two very famous gemara. Two people going on the road. Biad echem mehem kiton shalmayim. They have a, a canteen of water. Maybe the word canteen comes from kiton. That might be a cute uh, thing, Dr. Press, right? Just off the cuff, I just saw it now, right? It might might be anyway. We had a ketone shalmayim im shoisin shneyamesin. If if they both drink, they'll die. In other words, it's neither one. It's not enough to sustain both of them, but it's enough to sustain one of them. Im shoisin echem mehem magil yishuv. He'll make it to the sit to the to place of inhabitants. Dorish ben petura mutiv she yishu shneim v'imusu better than both of them should drink and die. Val yiru echem mehem imisa shashal chaveri and rather than see the misa of the other one. So one one one's blood is not bloodier than the next. At shavar v'kiva lema v'chayo chicha imach chayecha koydmim l'chayo achicha. Your your life comes what before what before your 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 brother's life. In other words, the the chayo chicha imach means that if if you have enough that he can live with you, then give him, but. He, if not, then you you live without him. You know, it has to be the that that he should live with you. But if again, if he's going to take away your life, that's not imach. If he's going to take away your life, that's not imach. That's what he uses it for. Meisive, we're going to ask him Rabbi Yochanan again. Machloikis fellas says Rabbi Loza that that a ribis is taken. Ribis Katsutsa is taken up by Dayanim. Says Rabbi Yochanan, it's not. Says Rabbi Yochanan, it's not. Meisive. The guy dies, and he leaves his, 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 his uh, son's money of ribis. Even though they know, even though they know it's ribis, that it was gotten, again, ribis katsutsa, they're not chayav to return it. But their father, chayav lahachser. The father would be chayav to return it. That's a kasha on, that's a kasha on Rabbi Yechanan. Rabbi Yechanan says, what? You don't have to return it. Against Mashma, they don't have to return it, but Ba'at Rabbi Yochanan would have to, according to the father, would have to return it. Says Bedinhu, the father also would not what have to return it. Lahachser. I so why they go ahead and say that say it that they don't have to return it? Why don't you tell me the bigger chiddush that the father doesn't have to? But I did kabbalah misne sefer since the sefer of that of that that sefer of that 
Brisa, uh, I don't know what's a Brisa Mishnah. Uh, Haniach lehem avim para vitalis the chol dovah hamesuyim. If the father leaves a para or a talis that he stole or anything that they can say was stolen, hayavim lahachsim if they covered avim, they be chayiv to go ahead and return it in the cover of their father. That the, it should be known that the father was a robber. So tanenami reisha bidid who, good and therefore what they tani they learned the ratio with the kids. So again, what's the kasha? The kids don't have to return it. Mashma, the father also doesn't have to return it. And for the Gemara, the father also doesn't have to return it. So why do you learn the kids? Because we want to be, the symmetry should be, since the safe is speaking about the kids after the father's death, the ratio also speaking about the kids, even though who I didn't, the father would not have to go ahead Mat, and return it. The father wouldn't have to have returned the receipt. And it's not a cash or what on Rabbi Yochanan. Fred, the Gemara, Vahanim, they covered Aviyah, me, Mechaiv. Would they cover the father who's a Russia who steals? Would you be chayv to go ahead and return it? Kari kan venasi ba amcha loy saor and nasi among your nation you shouldn't curse. Be oisem mais amcha that someone who does what who does mais amcha they're not not a ganef. So the chayra why would they have to return it to cover the father? There's no reason to give cover to the father if he's not oisem mais amcha. Says Gemara kedamra pinchas mishmei the 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 rabba b'she asa or a papa the a papa and some says rav. Okay, anyway, whoever it is, is is the, the guy he did tshuva. So therefore, since he did tshuva, the covered avim, they're going to return it. Says, no, hachanami b'shoas tshuva. Fred Gemari, also tshuva, my boy, gade. So if he did tshuva, what's the stolen object still by him? That what, that, that, that they're returning it. Says, no, it's like, la haspik, la haxer, at shemes. La hispik, la haxer, he didn't have time to go and return until she died. he died. Okay? So the kash on Rabbi Yechanan was chat was was refuted because again they were saying that the re reason we learned the kids is for the safer. Again, we just and we just digress to go ahead and explain the 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 shot of why it's covered for the father to return it. it says the Gemara, Macy Bay, we're gonna ask a Kashan and Rabbi Yachinan who says that what that you're not might see Bidayonim, Agazlonim Umalveva Ribis. Smash two two different things now, guys. This we had this in Babakama. Agazlonim robbers Umalveva Ribis and people who go ahead and lend for ribis even though they collected machsirin, they go ahead what and they return it, right? Gazlonim my afa pishe gavu ika i gazel gazel loy gazel loy gazel gazlin and karis loy, right? One of shach. If they went ahead, what do you mean you collect it? If they stole it, they stole it. If they didn't steal it, why are you calling them a ganif? El omar gazlinon gaz gazlonin. Who's the and my nino? No, it's not two separate things. It's one thing. Gazlon and Umayni know who is the Gazlin? Malve Beribis. So we're calling a Malve Beribis a Gazlin. It's one case. Alpha Bisha Gavu, even though what? He collected the Ribis. Machsirin, you're going to return it. So what? It's a Kasha on Rebbe Yechanan. You, Rebbe Yechanan, says you don't return it. You see clearly that what? Malve Beribis, you do return. Says the Gemara Tanahi. We want to suggest it's a Machloikis Tanahim. In other words, Rebbe Yechanan is stuck right now. He does, he, apparently, what? He can't. Mm. He has a Bryce. <clears throat> from Baba Kama or Mishnah from Baba Kama, I don't again recall that a Tanoic source in Baba Kama is stating openly that Malva Baribis, that Machsirin, you have to return it, and he says you don't have to return it. So it says we suggest it's Machloikis Tanoim, and he has a Tana that he goes according to the what you don't have to return it. The Tanya, we have a Brysa. And the Chemi of Rebel, he has a Ben Yaakov. This is a Malva, is a Malva Baribis. Do you get, is there a dinner Malkus or not? They part the, the Malva ribis from a, a mash, from a, from from Malkus. They say they hold it's a lava nitak by returning it. The SRAV and they a co-signer who went ahead. Rashi speaks with that that he took the money and he gave it to somebody else. He was part of the action. Like he collected from the the he collect the 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 Malva collected from him and he collected from the loiva. Because they have a kumvase of what of returning the the ribis. My say, la mishum da mina lahu kumu ahaduru, right? Go ahead and return it. That's Rebbe Lazar. Mechal the Tanakh Hamasava, la bnei yadurinenu, and therefore that who's Rebbe Yechon is going according to. Now it's apparently you have you have what well, Malva Rivas has to be turned or not. Says the says the Rebbe Nechemia and Rebbe Lazar, it has to be returned, and Rebbe Zemiachon has to be returned. Tanakh says it doesn't have to be returned, and that is who Rebbe Yechon has found the source, the Tanakh Says Murloy, it's not the machloikis over here. My kumbi say when it says kumbi say 
It's the the Kroya Shtaris. Rip up the Shtar. Okay, to understand what's going on over here, we have to see Rashi. Go to Rashi. It's it's a little bit above. It says Loi. Loyla Memelach, I'll tell you im Gova Divya call Ainum Mutokim Bechazora Mina Malkus. I'll tell you if you return it, you're still gonna get Malkus. It doesn't make a difference. It's not a lavanita glace. It's not the Hesh's Xela. It's not it's not burning uh it's not not chase. Let's assume in a boyka beish beish to strife. We should burn by nicer. No, it's not not a lavanita. Whether shluach uh, is a lavanita, these are all shilas. And the enkan nita glasse. But hide the tony peturin. So why are you potter? Why are you potter? Why are you potter from Alkis? It's speaking bishaloi govu. They didn't collect it at all. No, the, there never was an exchange of ribbis. He never paid the ribbis. The hosan lehavi ella shuma baalma. All it was was a an evaluation. They went ahead and they, and they said, they wrote up a star that says, you're going to lend me X amount and I'm going to pay you more than that X amount. They wrote up a star, but it never took place yet. <coughs> they made Neshech on a condition. When the Torah says, do not place on him Neshech, Lava Shuma Great Dosa Kapid, they're not Makbid only on the, the actual evaluation or 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 Shtabi written up, El Ashuma Habolid de Givu. It has to be one that's coming to collection. The Chokamish Le Govu, and as long as you didn't collect it, Ikakum Vase Likroya, you story you could rip the star as long as it's not connected. And therefore you're not gonna get Malkus. The Hashtag Park we also will see in a second. So now, so the Machloikis over here has nothing to do with what with with uh <clears throat> Ribis Kitsutsa being collected, whether you get Malchus or not, everyone can hold that wad. Once you go ahead, it's collected. You would get Malchus. You would get Malchus. Everyone says you get Malchus. And therefore, everyone would hold that wad that, you know, it's done. The deed is done. There's nothing to return. The Machlekes over here is questionable as whether the Shuma itself, that you did an evaluation itself, and it's it's, it's leading wad to, to a collection. And it's leading to a collection whether there's a, if you rip up the star. Whether that you you avoid Malchus or not, according to Revelosa and 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 Rabbi Eliezer and Yaakov and Chen, you do avoid. According to Kama Kama, you don't avoid. Now the Gemara is asking about that. Mike Sava, Ika Sava Shtaro Oimid Lig Voices Kagavri Dami. If all the Shtaros is really it's collected, then so far already Surayu. This is was done already. And what is what what good is it going to do to rip it up already? If it's collected, right? The Ilav Kagavri Dami Holy Yavu Lekum. You didn't do anything. So what what could what They'd be talking about that you get Malchus for if you didn't do anything. So the oil and kasava shtaro emelik boy says love kagavri dami. I said where's the Malchus? The hokamash malon the shuma milsehi, right? The shuma the placing upon is is something. And according to Tanakama, just the placing like say simu alav itself wouldn't mechayv me Malchus. And says the Rebbe Lozav and Yaakov and Rebbe Chemia, it would not be mechayv me Malchus. So the actual placing of the ribbis, whether it's chayv Malchus or not, but it's not any bearing on the machloikis between Rebbe Loza and Rebbe Yochanan simply because why? Because it's speaking where it wasn't collected. So the right now, it's saying bleib shver on Rebbe Yochanan. All right, Rebbe Yochanan, we had a kash on Rebbe Yochanan from from Gazlonim umalva beribbis that it's one thing. We had a kasha on, on Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan therefore suggested it's a machloikis tanoyim. And we're saying that machos tanoyim has nothing to do with the actual collection of ribbis. So therefore, right now, it's say Rabbi Yochanan is stuck. Says the Gemara, Hachanami Mestabe to say it's speaking machloikis about shuma, where that enough would go ahead and be machayv yomalkis. Did nan. Elu oivrim b'loy sase. These are the ones that are over. These these are the ones that are over on on, on a low side. Elu oivrim These are the ones that are over what? On a, on an assay of ribis, loy sase of ribis, amalva the loyva ha edim ha oriva edim. All these are guilty of being the israel ribis. Now bishleim a kuloi david maisa. The malva does an action; he lent the money. The loyva does an action; he takes the money. The oriv does the action; he pays. He takes the money from the loyva and gives it to the malva. Also maisa bigvias a ribis. Who move him? And it's understood why the oriv on the israel of ribis. El edim my oviv. What did the edim do? All they did was sign a star. At the last shmami, not the shuma milsi. That the valuation that was done through them is also also shmami. No, it's a good raya. Again, I think the Gemara bleib shver, Rabbi Yochanan bleib shver according to this. Okay, Amar of Safra, call all ribbis sheilu sheilu bedinehem mitziim malva leloiva. Any ribbis that they hold is 
acceptable that the loyva would pay the malva, meaning ribis da raisa, bidinenu machsirin, in our courts you would return, like Rebbe, right, malva, mi malva loyva. So in other words, this would appear to be like Rebbe Laza, which would, again, be substantiated by the fact that Rebbe Yerachim was shlugged up. So again, and the parallel, guys, if in a Goyesha court, they're going to take the money from the Malva to the Loiva, who are then, we're going to return the money from the Malva to the Loiva. So let's say, Ribis Kitsutsa, Ribis Daraisa, which they do do, they, they live off Ribis, we in that case would go ahead, like Rebbe Laza, take have the Dayonim take it from the Malva to the Loiva. That, that, that would work. However, Kol Shila bin Neim Ein might see in Malva Loiva, in their courts, they would not go ahead and take from Malva Loiva, which we'll see soon, in our courts, what we will not go ahead and and uh, and return it. Okay, now let's explain. The who is this a good rule? So you're telling me, Ribista Raisa, guys, Ribista Raisa, Ribista Raisa, right, is returnable. Ribista Rabbon is not returnable because in their courts, they don't hold a Ribista Rabbon. They're... Okay, now what's the case of Saw Bisa? You can't go ahead and borrow. A, a, a liter, a bushel of wheat to pay back a bushel of wheat. Because maybe the bushel of wheat went up in price. And now the time difference that you have, right, waiting to get your bushel of wheat back is, right, that time difference that this person had Hana to use this bushel of wheat and he's paying you back, what, a higher price, therefore sub so would be also. In a Goyesha court, guys, sub so they're not... They, they're not going with sub, so it's not a dinner rib, is it? Not collect, they're not collecting that. So, Fred the Gemara, only about Rabbi Yosef, a Klolo, who this rule that you have that any time by the Goyesh court they, they take from the Malva to the Loiva, in our courts, we're going to take, we, 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 we would take, but but anytime they don't, we don't either. It's not true. Sub is so, you have a case of Sach Gitin on Manas that you're going to pay back a Sach Gitin. The Gitin go up, it's also the Rabbanon, the Bidinehem, according to Goyesh courts. Might see in me loiva me loiva the chayiv to go ahead and pay the sa. But the neinu emach see me malva le loiva. We're not going to go ahead and, and if he paid it, we're not going to make him pay it back. Guys, rebel. Guys, look at me. Rebel Lassa only says his din by ribis kitsutsa by ribis deraisa. He does not say it by ribis derabanan. So by goyish court, you lent a sa, you pay a sa, right? We are not goyish with it, but by us, we are goyish with it. But nonetheless, it's derabanan. You're not going to take a payment back. So your rule is your rule is is, is not, not a good rule because they are collecting in the Goyish court and they're not collecting in the Jewish court. So I'm aware of Yosef told Safra, Inu Bitaris Bikad Nasaliyade. By the Uma Sa'ilam, when they return it, it's not coming mitaris what al halva. It's coming mitaris. You entrusted me to watch a saw, I'm giving back to you. When did Rav Safra say his rule? When it came mitaris ribis, guys. When it came mitaris ribis. Over here, you gave me a saw, you and, and I'm paying you back a saw. So you you gave me a saw to watch. I'm paying it back to you. That's called a picotin. So therefore, my rule is still intact. My rule is still intact, and therefore, I'm gonna yes, may may is may is reaching. No, okay. Amle Ravino Ravashi, Bahari Mashkanta Beloy Nachyaisa. Okay, guys, a, a, a good way to pay off a loan. Here's my field, and I owe you X amount of money. Use the field and it will deduct from the loan based upon what the payers, right? You'll deduct based upon the on, on the payers. It's called a right. Now, what would happen if the if the loiva would go ahead, he would eat from the fruits of the field, and then the malva goes ahead and, and takes the field. So what happens? The the since you the as a result of the loan, you're having use, I guess the malva, you're having use of the payers, right? You go ahead, you lend money to your friend. You get a a, a, a bitaris mashka, the loy, the loiva gives you a mashka, and as long as the loiva doesn't pay the right the the, the field, the malva is eating the payris, and he's not deducting, and now it comes out when he does get paid back, it was ribis, he got back the loan plus the the malva used used the field, so this is a din derabanon the bidinehem might see in they're gonna go ahead and might see in and since it's ribis derabanon ubidineno emachsirim malva the loiva so again a question on of Safi's rule. Then in Goyesha court, anytime in the Goyesha court they take it, we also will take it, but it's not true. It's a Goyesha court that we, we'll take it, we won't take the ribis. This is not considered Taurus Bikadin. This is they take it me Taurus Zvini as a sale. They view it as a sale. 
they view they view it what over here is a sale. They, the Paris is given to the they give them to Paris to the Malva. They because they held that the the the, Mal, the Malva was kind of the Sada the whole time that what that the loan wasn't pay up. But we, we went Mitaris Ribis. Ella, okay, so now if that's the case, Ella Kol Sheilu Bineneim the Kamrav Safra my Yoslashmid. What case does a case in a Goyish court that they will go ahead and extract from the Malva to the Loiva that a Jewish court we won't? One we tried Sabasa, you said that's Taurus Bikadin. We tried Mashkanta de Khnaisa, that's me Taurus Vina. Says Gamar Aslashmi Hachi Aslashmi. Kal Shilo Bidi Nehem might see in Malvala Loiva, Bidi Nenu Marzir in Malvala Loiva, who mind you, that's Ribis Katsutsu, that's the first case, right? That's what we lost. Guys, that's Pasha. Go to your court, you're going to pay up, Ribis, in our court, like Rebbe Laza, you're going to go ahead and and and, and take take the money back from the Dayan, will take the money back from the Malva. The Kol Shila Bininayim ain't might see in, anything in their courts that they don't go ahead and collect the Ribis, Bininayush Emach Sirin. Now, what is that speaking about? Ribis Mukdemes. You give a matana to your friend before the Alva. In order that he should lend you. Okay, they're not going to go. They're not taking back the matana, right? So, uh, anything in the, in their courts, they might see. And so, let's say that's a you give the money. Why are you doing it? You or you're giving a present that the person should give you a loan. That's ribis muktemes. That's ribis before the loan. And ribis mucheres, you give a, a, a matana to your friend after he pays off the chay, right? In their in their courts, they're not might the ribis in the mouth of the labor, right? Of course, he didn't make a, any tenai or anything in our in our courts. Also, we will keep it. Okay, fellas, get ready. Welcome to Ezer Neshech. Until now, Benji's saying it's not so hard. It's not so hard. Okay, guys, give me all your. I'm going to give you as much as I can. With even even after everything I give you, if you understand anything, I'll go to sleep a happy man. Okay, the. The, the case under under discussion is the case in the Mishnah, which I went through very quickly, perfunctorily, because I knew the Ica is over here. This 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 that and later on, futures contracts. What's a futures contract, and what's the problem? You're giving a person money. So let, let's say, let's say uh, Benji is a uh, sales potatoes, and I'm going to buy a hundred pounds of potatoes for for ten bucks. He doesn't have the potatoes now. I give him the ten bucks now, right now. There is no shar on the potatoes. We have the, the market, the, the Bronx market, whatever they make, the, 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 the market price has not been decided. And and Benji doesn't have potatoes right now. So that money I'm giving him, how will we view it? If I can't get anything from it, it's not a business, it's not a, a mecca, it's not a sale, it must be a loan. He's not providing me anything. It's in the future, he will. But right now, when I give him the money, it's a loan. Memela, that's not permitted. Why? Because a month from now, when potatoes could come back and are worth $15, 15, whatever, 15 bucks for 100 pounds, I will have made $5 more, right, on letting Benji use that $10 for that period of time. right? In other words, he had the usage of that money. He had halva for that period of time. Because it wasn't a mekach. He couldn't provide the potatoes for me. It was not. It was not available. It wasn't available. But now that it is available, he gives it to me for one second. I great. I I I contract out for ten bucks for hundred pounds, and now it's fifteen bucks. I made five bucks. How do I make that five bucks? Because Benji had used it at ten bucks at the right time. That is appears if that is a vac ribis. That that's a vac ribis. Okay. That, now there are two two. Heterim, that make it not look like ribis. Now, guys, remember, ribis is only derech halva. When I bought it from Benji, it really is derech mekoch memker. It only was a halva because he couldn't provide the potatoes for me. Since he couldn't provide the potatoes, it was a business deal. I paid him. I didn't. I didn't lend him the money. I paid him. But it looks like a halva. That's the ribis. That's the the, the severity of ribis. The chacham said it's us to do because it looks like ribis. Because since he's not providing anything for me now, it's a loan. That's that's the problem with a futures contract. We understand that everybody. Good? But it also might be a month from now. It might be eight dollars. 
instead of yeah, 10. Again, it might be, it doesn't make a difference. It, 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 it doesn't make a difference. You're not allowed to do it for that possibility. Even though, so you, you're going to tell me maybe, maybe it won't be ribis. It doesn't make a difference. You can't do it. Now, there are two heterim that it, we could do it. One, if the price is out, if the market price is out. Why? Because once the market price is out, even though Benji doesn't have it, Benji could buy it. Even though Benji doesn't have it, Benji could buy it. Since Benji can buy it, it's considered ready mine. I, I, it's a futures contract. You're going to provide for me. Once ben, Benji has accessibility to that, so no longer is it alone. It's a mekkah, and therefore it will be okay. So if if the shar is out, it's going to be okay. A second thing, even if the shar is not out, if Benji has it, even if he doesn't give it to me, the fact that he could give it to me, it's considered mine already. So when it goes up the fifteen dollars, guys, in both cases of the shar being out and the case of Benji having it, which the Torah calls yeshloi, yeshloi, there is to him. In that case, it's considered ready in my rishus. So when it went from ten to fifteen, it went up in my rishus. Yes, Dov. When you gave him the ten dollars for the yeah. hundred pounds, did you make the deal? I want delivery thirty days from now. Whatever, 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 whatever this I didn't make. Any, the, I know I didn't give a time span. I think I, again, I don't know enough about 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 um, early. You know, I'm saying this this, this things about the early bird specials, different things like that. I'm not sure. But I wanted why should, why is your question dependent upon that? Because if oh, 30 days thing. from now, if you're giving the money for 30 days from now, the potatoes he has today, he can't hold for 30 days. It's going to be rotten 30 days. When he has to go into the market 28 days from now to it get them. Make a, it doesn't make a difference. They rot in my rishus. It's considered in my rishus. Once he has it, it's considered mine already. Once he has it, it's considered mine already. That's why I'm not sure about your, 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 your Shiloh. It's considered mine already. So again, futures contract, guys, which is called Poiskin Alaparis, not permitted because if it, it, it's not permitted without two conditions. It's not permitted because since I'm not getting anything and I can't get anything because there's no price to pro provide for it and the and the, and the, the Meicher does not have, in this case, Benji doesn't have it, then it looks like it's a halva and I'm getting a better price because why? Okay, now, if however, Benji does have it, yeshlai, then it's considered already given to me. Price can let a shower, Benji can get it, it's considered given to me. Okay. Our Mishnah was a case not like that. It was a hybrid, then it was an issue. What was the case of our Mishnah? The case of our Mishnah was the following. You made a, a, a futures contract and the shower was out. What was the futures contract? It was worth 25. The potatoes, whatever, it was worth 25 dinar, sloyim. 25 dinar. They went up to, now the shar was out. So since the shar was out, the, the market price was out, it's permitted. So we're good. I said, great. I just made a few bucks. I say, Benji, do me a favor. Give me my wheat. I want to sell it. I want to buy wine. Benji says, listen, it's thirty. I'll t it's 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 thirty bucks or uh, whatever. Thirty. I'll take a chiv of that thirty. I'll provide wine for you for that thirty. Now I didn't give Benji anything. All I gave Benji was the chiv. So the first part is okay. It's the second part that's a problem. It says Benji doesn't have it. Benji does not have it. Now I didn't give him any money. I didn't give him any money. All I gave him. He didn't give me anything. All he gave me was a loan. In other words, he said, I'll owe it to you. There was no transfer of money. So if there's no transfer of money, it doesn't seem like ribis, apparently. But it says Benji doesn't have it. Since Benji doesn't have it, it's not okay. Okay? So there's two parts. to that. That's the case of Tarbis and Amishnah. The first part is a, a permitted contract for wheat that goes up in price. Then the 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 moicher of the wheat takes upon himself a choiv for uh, me to provide to provide for me yayin and he doesn't have the wine. That's the second part. Okay, so let's see what we have now. With that in mind, let's begin the gemara. Says the gemara.
Ketzad Lach Himen Achitim Medina Zov Hakor. That's twenty five. The Chen Ashar, and that was the price. It goes up to thirty, and then we did the Yayin. V'chi Ein Lo Yayin My Havi. Even though Benji does not have the wine for Tanya, Ein Poiskin Ala Peris Atchi Yatsa Ashar. Yatsa Ashar Poiskin Afa Pishein Lazer Yesh Lazer. In other words, I didn't add one Kenech fellas. The shar came out on the wine. The shar came out on the wine as well. Not only did the shar come out in the Paris, the shar came out on the wine. So now, who cares if Benji has it or not? If this is, again, one of the formulas of, of a freezer's contract, if it's available, so the chayrit should be okay. So why does the Mishnah say that Benji doesn't have it, right? And therefore it's no good, right? Even Benji... Even if Benji did have it, it doesn't make a difference. Once place can let a shower, you're good. Guys, you got it? Once you have the shower out, it should work. So, Amar Rabbah, Our mission is speaking where he wants to go ahead, and he wants to go ahead and make a choiv with what he's owed. He's owed this wheat, correct? He's, he's owed this wheat. So, what's, what's the problem? He's owed this wheat. That since we're making it, there's no money over here. It's it's on a chayiv. That seems to be a problem. That seems to be that seems to be that seems to be a problem. Says Rashi. What's the problem? Very important. Rashi. Benji the meicher did not give me the lekeach the worth of the chitin. Shechayiv loy that he was chayiv to me. That he return and get it back from me, Bishvil Hayayin. In other words, there was no transfer of money. Initially, fellas, guys, initially, in the initial loan of the week, there was a transfer of money. I gave him, I gave him 25, right? I gave him. Over here, however, he's not getting back anything. He's getting what he's getting a chayv. That Elabal love the meachitim chayv. The worth of the chitim is placing upon himself as a chayv. The lipstick ala choiv yayin. And now he's he's making a, a business contract for that choiv on wine. The kacham aloi. And this is what Benji tells me. I'm a kabel your chiv of, 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 of wheat that I owe you. Bilamid dinar, with 30 dinar. Kimoy sha'at yachal and that you could sell it right now. And it's, I'll give it you based upon whatever the price of wine the market is now. The Havile Yayin, if Benji did have wine, Havi Kondoloi Me'achsha, then I would have bought the wine right now. That Chiev would have bought the wine. The Iyaka Brishuse Iyaka. And what's the key, guys? Since if Benji had the wine, good, I didn't give him any money, but I had a Chiev, he had a Chiev. That Chiev would have made that wine in my Rishus if he had it. Avol Einloi, Benji doesn't have it. Uhuloi Kibal Achsha of Mois, and Benji didn't get any, I didn't, I didn't get any money now. Shenuchaloyma, that I'm able to tell Benji, Yachalulik noisle bedamim shekibo, that go ahead and, 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 and buy it anywhere it is. Nimsa, she'ena etzle ella behalva ba'almet, bleibza halva. Says the, why is this different? Says says Rava, I'll tell you why it's different. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a futures contract, but it's based upon a chiv of that he has to pay the guy, but there's no money involved. So if there was money involved, he could go ahead, take the money, and go buy something, right? But there is no money. All there's a chiv. So forget the shar being out. That doesn't help us. Why does the shar help us? If you have money, you can go buy it. But there is no money, correct? The only thing that would work here if Yeshloi, if Benji had wine, then we can view the chiv that he owes me is, pay, is paid by by that wine. And then the wine is in my rishos. But since Benji doesn't have it, and since there was no trans, there's no shar. All it blives is a chiv, a halva that he owes me money. Memela what? That's also the rabbanon. That's also the rabbanon. That's the difference between the first piece of apayrus, the first contract where I actually gave him money, and the latter one, which is just the loan. So again, if he has it, then that loan that he owes me is considered. I have that wine, and it's in my rishus, and it's going up my rishus if it goes up. So no problem. But since he doesn't have it, now despite the shar being out, the shar only helps you if you have money to buy it. But there's no money. It's a chiv over here. 
So Mela says Rabba, that's Peshat na Mishnah. That's Peshat. So let's see the money. Let's see it again. Fred the Gemara. But Tanya ain't personal peris at Shayetz Ashar. Yatz Ashar, personal not be shame. The Zayesh says. So the Chayra, since the Shar is out on the wine, you should be able to go ahead what? and you should be able to go ahead and and uh, have a good contract. So why is it Asr in the Mishnah? I'm a Rabba Mastisam, the Bolloch of the Mey Maskinon. I'm Mishnah, we're what? You're coming to buy something with a Chayev. So what am I doing? I'm buying wine with the Chayev that that what? That Benji owes me for the wheat. Uchidatanya. Your friend is claiming for you a hundred bucks. And now he goes and he's standing by the threshing floor. And he says, Give me my hundred bucks. I want to buy chitim. I don't have a hundred dollars, but you know what I have? I have a hundred dollars worth of wheat. Go figure out a hundred bucks according to the price of now. And I'll provide for you 12 months according to this price. Asa. Why? The lav ki isra boliyade dami. It's not like what? An isra. An isra is a coin. It's, a, it's not like a coin coming through his hands. It's not similar if I would give him the money right now. In other words, what's the... If I would have money right now and the shah is out, we said it's not a problem. But there is no money being transferred tonight. All there is a chiv, right? He owed me money, owed me a hundred bucks. And now he's taking that hundred bucks and changing it to a chiv on, on, on wheat. Same thing about Mishnah. There was a chiv, there was a chiv to, on wheat. He's taking that chiv on the wheat and transferring it to a chiv on, on wine. Good? So Mimela, just like this price, it doesn't work. Our Mishnah also doesn't work. It, because why? Because there's no money. Even though the shah is out, the shah is only going to help you when you have money. If you don't have money, it doesn't help. So therefore... Now, God is so we're good. I, I mean, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. The fun has not even begun yet, <laughs> but 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 I'm good. So again, what's the difference? Why isn't this a good a futures contract? Because you're not giving him money, even though the shah is out. You're not giving him money. If the shah was out and you had money, good. The shah not the shah being out without any money doesn't help you. It remains a halva because all you went ahead and gave over to the guy was a chayv. Was a choy. Okay, Abaya's got a problem. Amli Abaya. Either like he is through If you're telling me a chiv, right, guys, if you're going to tell me, Abaya says, if you're going to tell me that <coughs> this shot that you bequeath, you're giving over a choy, is not what, it's not like you gave money. My area ain't like, why do you care if what he doesn't have it? Afilu yeshlay nami. Even if Benji did have it, should be us. Says by again, if there's no money to buy it, it's a chiv, it's a chiv, it's a halva. So why should it help even if Benji has it? That's his kasha. Again, we said the two had tayrim for a for a uh, a futures contract is the shar being out and yeshlay. You're telling me, you're telling me that only helps if there's money was given at this point in time where you can take the money and buy it, or take the money and 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 uh, give it to you because he has it. And then it's considered in your rishus. You're telling me now, even though the shar came out on the yayin, since he only gave him, he paid for it with a choiv. He paid for it with a choiv that he had on wheat. A choiv is not ki'isur bali adoy. So what difference would it make then if the shar doesn't help for the shar, it also should not help out for yeshloi, since there's no money to go ahead and make it his. That's that's a bias kash. Elam rabaya. Bayah is going to say, guys, we're not speaking about uh, uh, contracts. Guys, a buyer is going to be a very, very, very difficult understanding of our Mishnah. And he's, it doesn't depend upon what? A contract of Pisigal Esashar. It does not depend upon that. In other words, he's going to learn our Mishnah is not speaking about what? A futures contract at all. Okay, what's our Mishnah speaking about? Elam Rabbiah says, Abaya, Masnisa, our Mishnah is Kitatani Rav Safra, Beribis, the Bey Rabkhiya. Like Reb Safa learned in the yeshiva of Reb Chia when they were learning ribis. The ton of Reb Safa, but ribis to Reb Chia. Yesh devarim shem mutarim. There are things that are muta. The asurim and their asa b'fnei aramis ribis because they look like your. They look like ribis. They look like ribis. Ketzad. Amaloi. The loyva says, "Listen, halveni mana. Give me twenty-five sloyim. Okay. Give me a hundred bucks. This is a hundred. Give me twenty-five bucks." Okay, I'm a loy Hamalva. The Malva says, 
Mona Ainley, I don't have I don't have a hundred bucks to give you, but chitin be money yeshli shani leislach. I can give you a hundred dollars worth of chitin. Okay, I can lend you the chitin. Nasan loy, he gives him the chitin. So why does he owe him now? He owes him a hundred bucks. He gave him a hundred dollars worth of chitin. He owes him a hundred bucks. Now, nasan chitin be money. Now he's this guy really needs money. So what does he have in his possession? He has he has chitin. Now he goes back. He goes back to the Malva and says, listen, I, I, I uh, because of a lochan, he meno best in Vabasella. He buys it back for 20, well, you know, I, I used $100. It, it, it's really, it, the money really is, it's 25 dinarim. He's buying it cheap, 24. So it's 24 seller. In other words, he's off, he's off by a seller. He's off by a seller. In other words, he bought, this guy needed the money so badly, he sold 25 worth for 24. Good. He served 25 for 24, yes? So again, he owes him 100. He sold him wheat. He, he gave him a discount because he needed the money. Now, Muta, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. However, us losses came. It's us to do that. They are Ramas Rivis. Now, when the Malva is going to pay up, what's he going to pay? Right? He's going to pay 25. He owes him 25, guys, right? So he sold it him for 24. He's going to pay back 25. It seems like ribis, the rabbana. In other words, it's two separate, it's two separate transactions. There's a chiv and there's a sale. But this, since it schmecks of one second, I owe you 25, and you gave me back 24. So it looks like ribis. That's that's Reb, that's that's Reb, Reb Chiyaz Din. Okay, that's Reb Chiyaz Din. Again, Haram is ribis. It looks like ribis. It's not ribis at all. It's muta. I mean, I tell you it's muta. It's two separate chiyuvim. You had a chiyuv to pay back for he lent you a hundred dollars for at twenty five, and now he, you see, gave you a discount twenty four. When you're paying back to twenty five, it looks like what that the time spent that he's getting one seller more, even though he's getting he's not he's not okay. That's what it looks like. So hachanami a buyer's learning pshat na mishnah. This is pshat na mishnah. Hachanami na mishnah. Again, we we learn pshat na mishnah guys outside quickly that there were two cases. There was a futures contract on on wheat. It went up from 25 to 30, and then he's turning the 30 into a futures contract on what? On Yayin. And Ainlo, he doesn't have it. The buyer says, I feel Yeshle shouldn't work. Why? Because there's no money no money being given over. It shouldn't work even Yeshle. Just like it doesn't work by the Shah, it doesn't work what? Even Yeshle. So now, Hachanami, Kugoyin the Omar, Hilveni Shleishim Dinarim. So lend me 30 Dinarim. Amala, the Malba says, Shleishim Dinarim Ainlo, but Chitim Shleishim Dinarim Yeshle. I have 30, 30 dinar worth of wheat. So Nasanai he gives him the Malvi, he lends him. So now he owes him, he owes him 30 dinar. He gives him Nasanai Khitim Shlash Dinar. Now the Khaza Bilakham Imenu Bidin is of. He now buys back the wheat for 25. So for all intents and purposes, when he pays him back, guys, what is it going to look like? He pay, he paid him what? He, 25 and he's getting back 30, right? That's what that's what it looks like. So this is our Ramas Ribis. If the loiva had what he had yayin to give the malva, and again, I'm, what's our mishnah? Our mishnah is that case. He, here's the case. He went ahead. He lent him 30, 30 dinarim because he, of, of of wheat. He then went back and bought the wheat for twenty five. Now he wants to buy. Now he wants to go ahead and buy yayin, and he tells him that you know what. I'll give you the yayin for 30. So now. So if Benji would have the, the, the wine to give to me, since there's no exchange of money, it doesn't look like Haramis Ribis at all, because he's giving me back what? 30 denarim worth of Paris. He's not giving me any cash at all. The Eloi, however, if he doesn't have yeah, he doesn't have wine to give me. All he has is money to give me. Even the less like Hamra, Vadai Mishko Zuzamine. He's taking a Zuz from him because he doesn't have Yayin. So what's he going to take? He's going to take, right? He's going to take money. And Mifse Karibis, it appears like Ribis. It appears like he's getting 30, uh, 25 for 30. Now, let's stick this back in the Mishnah, guys. Let's go back to the Mishnah. By his learning, it's not a case of future contracts at all, right? Samich Hamid Base. The Aza Tarbis, Hamarba Paris, okay, Kate Now, 
you have to say the following. He lent him 30 dinarim worth of wheat. Good. Yes? Stick that in the Mishnah. He lent him 30 dinarim worth of wheat. And then he went back and purchased it for 25. You guys, and according to Abaya, you have to hear that clause. You see? You see? Abaya is learning that 25 is the price he paid to get it back. Right? He's, he's getting a discount. Uh, why is he getting a discount? Because the, the loiva obviously needed the money. Right? So the loiva set, sends, sends it back to him for 25. And that happens to be the shar. Umdu chitim belamedina now goes up in price. It goes back up. So umali tainli chitai shani writes lemoichron. Give me my chitim back. I want to go ahead right and I want to sell it. Velikach mehenyayin and I want to buy wine. Umaloi hari chitra su alai b'shloishim. Right. Byru lecha etzli behenyayin viayin ain loy. So if he had yayin to pay him back, it wouldn't appear of its ribis. But if he doesn't have yayin to pay him back and it's paying back money, it appears if he's getting what. He's paying back the 25 for 30 because it was because he gave him the 25 to discount, and now it looks like even though it's two separate transactions, that's a that's a buyer's fetched shot in the Mishnah. Now, Rub is going to attack a buyer. Let's see what Rubber does now. Okay, Amle Rubber, Ihachi, Tainli Chiti, give me my Chitim. There's no Chitim, guys, it's the May Chiti, and fellas. He sold him the chitim, right? He sold it to him already. So what do you mean, give me my chitim? It's the worth of the chitim that you owe me. That's what the Mishnah says. Say. Don't say, give me my chitim. There's no chitim. It's only the worth of the chitim. So that says, that, that I can sell. It's that I sold to you. According to Rav, it's not a future sale. According to Rav, it's a peer sale. I sold you chitim at 25, right? I sold it to you back at 25. Give me that worth. Says the Gemara, Enachnami Tani Shemachati Lachat. Say say that that I sold to you. Harei chitcha asuyo like b'shleisha dinarim. The skitim should be upon you like thirty. Fed Gemara, may karinami hachi yochmin v'lave. He when he borrowed it, it was thirty guys. In other words, mash from the mission, it's only worth thirty now. According to the ukimt of Abaya, it was worth thirty when he 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 asked to borrow thirty bucks and he didn't have. He gave him gave it to him at thirty, so it was worth thirty before as well. So, a chitim you change the mechitim. Machalacha you change the mechatelacha. In other words, you ready? You ready? Buy it. Change two things in the Mishnah to make your your pshat fix. What are you going to do with this? It says, it says what the 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 the, narim, the, the that that's now up to thirty, but it was thirty before also. Hachikamalei b'demechitcha sheasisa alai b'shloisha dina. The chitim that you made upon me for thirty dinner that I hari lecha etzli ben yayin. Again, that 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 initially that was thirty that you bought for me twenty five, and now it went up to thirty. Go ahead, wad and do, right the yayin ain't loy, and he doesn't have wine. So memela doesn't have wine. It looks aromas ribis, but it's not speaking about a, a futures contract whatsoever. Fred gemara va bedina zov hakor v'chena shar ketani. According to you, it doesn't say 30. It says, Bedina Zahav, the 25. And it says, Bechena Shar. And so is the Shar. And so is the Shar. Now, if it's, it, look, what does that have to do whatsoever with a, if it's not a futures contract, who cares? Okay. So right now, we're going to stop here. Just let's, let's kind of We're going to start, have to do it again tomorrow. But all intents and purposes, we're explaining the second case of the Mishnah, why it's a case of, of Ribis. We introduce futures contract. We introduced the two heterim of futures contract is Yeshloi and what and and the Shar. What the, the mechanics of both is that it's no longer looks like a loan like ribis. It's involved, it's a mecher. And we consider when it goes up in price already in the Rishus of the Loikeach, right? We have a problem in our Mishnah. In our Mishnah, why does it say a case for Yayin ain't even if the Shar is out, it should make a difference. If the shar is out, it should make a difference. Even if Benji did not have the yayin, right? It should work, right? It should work. It's because the shar of the yayin came out. Says the Gemara that it's it, right. Says the Gemara that according to Rav, it's speaking where there wasn't any money exchanged because he just placed the chayv upon it. In other words, when does the having the when does having the shar help when the the money is there? 
And since the money is in the hand, can can be used by the the meicher in this case Benji to buy provide for me, it's considered mine already. But once it's only a chayiv that he's, in other words, he owes me for the wheat to pay for the yayin, even if the shire is out, it doesn't help. So that was that was that was Rav's teretz. If that's the case, why do you care if yayin ain't loy? I feel yayin yesh loy. It shouldn't help because since there's no money for him to provide it, it doesn't help. So Abaya therefore is saying a very very difficult. He wants to say it's a case of haromis ribis. It looks like ribis. It's speaking about a case where there was a transaction where he discounted, and now it looks like he's getting for that discount. He's getting more money back. That's where we're holding. Rava, however, slugs it up in the Lashon Mishnah, and tomorrow Rava is going to say his own shot. Exhale.